Today I am installing a new sub pump alarm. Uh, as you can see here, um, this is a Wi-Fi sub pump alarm. I did have a old uh, Z-Wave sub pump alarm that I had in there. Uh, the problem with it is it would corrode. These two prongs would corrode and send false signals all the time. So I wanted to switch over to something a little bit more reliable. And I have this float device, which in theory should, uh, when the, if the pump fails, it should float up and send a signal to uh, my Wi-Fi router and then out to the internet and I should get a whole bunch of alerts on my phone. So uh, I'm going to be installing this and uh, I will show you guys when it's all done. Thanks. So I've just finished the install. And as you can see, I basically I've used some twist ties to attach the float um, higher up in the system than the pump alarm or the the pump would kick on. So uh, what it should be doing is, if for whatever reason the pump has failed, um, the water level would rise to hit the secondary alarm float and then uh, trigger an alert. So it only took me a couple minutes to install it. It was really smooth, really easy, other than having to climb down there a little bit, which wasn't a lot of fun. And because I already had the power out here, I've just twist tied it to the power system and we're good to go. So the next step is I am going to simulate a, uh, a failure of the pump or a power failure, whichever. Um, I've unplugged the pump and now I'm going to stick a hose in there and fill it up to the point where that alarm kicks on. And uh, I want to make sure it kicks on before it hits that uh, outlet there so that for whatever reason it never backs into the house. So uh, I'm going to stick a hose in there and we are just waiting for it to fill up enough. The idea is that we want it to kick on the alarm before it hits that inlet and backs into my house. That would be bad. Very bad. I can't think of anything worse. So unfortunately, you're not going to be able to hear the uh, the alerts. It's set up to uh, to email me. It's set up to text message and to call me. Um, it's you will hear the beeping, and uh, we'll uh, we'll see what happens. It's almost uh, should almost be high enough. over and there you can hear the alarm which is perfect and if everything goes well I should be getting alerts in my email and in my text messaging and I just got an email you guys can't see it but I did get the email and the text message and I'm gonna end the video now and empty this thing out thanks very much okay so I take another garden hose and I'm gonna plug the uh, pump back in so you guys can watch this recover so it's making a heck of a racket here. Uh, there we go. So, here it covering, but the pump is on now. The pump is doing its job. It's taking all the water out of there. The float is going down, 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 down. And in a few seconds, that should be empty enough. I'll take a good 30 seconds, but as you can see that float is now in the down position, the alarm has gone off, I'm going to receive an email in a few minutes that says uh, that uh, it's recovered and I'll be able to sleep at night. Um, start to see that float for the, the pump, in a minute that should go down, and uh, it looks like it is working absolutely perfectly. And I can say that I'm very happy with this. Uh, this should be a lot more reliable than the old one I had. Um, it's working great. And uh, I'm a happy man, what can I say? This is uh, emptied out now, the float is down, the alerts are off. I've got some emails, I've got some text messages, and life is good.